G'day, today we're gonna to have a look at a game that I've been given the key to uh, from developers, very kindly to just check it out. It's called Railroads and Catacombs. This one comes out into um, sort of like early access release, I think on the 16th of September at the moment. So I uh, got this one a little bit early, so I don't know much about it at all. I guess it contains railroads and catacombs. Let's jump on in. Okay, entering the labyrinth. I don't know how many hours I've been walking. There's something very disturbing in these woods. It's a strange feeling. The only thing I remember is when we stopped the Rosalyn and I offered to look for supplies. All right, W-A-S-D. This is the map area of the map. Pay special attention to it. Take a look at the map legend. It is recommended that you explore the area and prepare yourself for facing the boss. Okay, a mighty malignity malignity rooms here a group of depraved creatures something valuable something mysterious just a bare piece of land an unexplored segment okay click the x okay so that's saying that there's something dangerous to the left but i guess since it doesn't say there's any unexplained unexplored segments to the right Okay, the fight has begun. This is your stamina, I guess to the left there. You need it to play your cards. This is your victory condition. Kill the champion, complete it, and you'll win the fight. This is your hit points counter. It takes into account all the attacks you will receive and the hit points you'll have next turn. Enemy attacks are in order. When you have no more stamina left, bypass your turn with this button. These are your cards. When you want to use a card, drag it with the left mouse button, move it to the target, and drop the card. Okay, so firstly, I guess I'm picking my position. Since this guy's so close, I don't know if I should be getting near him or far away. So let's say we go there. Push back. Deals damage to the first character in a straight, horizontal, or vertical line. So this guy doesn't reach that. Again, armor points. Armor lasts one turn. Draw one card. Jump to a square over enemies. So... I feel like what I want to do is jump to there. So waste of a position I put myself in. Bad move that that guy actually... Uh, obviously, I should have read about the Ripper thing. So then we say push back. So we shoot that guy back you then want to draw a card deals damage to an adjacent enemy but if I get close to that guy again it feels like he's going to hurt me so let's say move away so we're a little bit further away I've got one turn left so let's say armor So that has to be an adjacent enemy, but I could do it to this guy. But he's got three left. Let's draw a card. So I can kill this guy. Looks like something's about to happen in this set here, so let's move away. And let's armor up again, just in case. So jumping, I can get away from this guy, but while I'm... Oh, there's that guy over there. I didn't even notice him. So let's just drop range damage on this guy. Oh, because... Oh, he moved. Okay. Uh, close combat, I don't really have at this point. Let's draw one just to see what we get. Okay, we get our armor friend. Let's move one square forward. And jump one square forward and we can close combat that guy. I'm getting the sense that this guy generally takes more than one move to do anything, so we could sort of face up to this guy and it wasn't a major consequence. So close combat, I think we want to do to the guy north because he's got more health. 
oh, I don't need to kill the boss, which was what the casting dude. So the fact that I was leaving that other guy alone was uh, was fine. All right, what do I want? The tongues, the coal, or the iron? Uh, prized by engineers to continue the machine's legacy. Use it wisely as it's very precious. An exercise tongue is a silenced voice. It is an honor to receive such a gift. In a world where only way to survive is on rails, coal becomes more important than gold. Well, I feel like we've got to go the goal, uh, the, the coal. Each character begins. Jeez, that's all right. I found that with a lot of these games, especially where they are, they give it to me pre-initial release. Um, there's a lot of times where English isn't the, the general spoken language of the the people who are making it. So, in the in this era of the games, there's always going to be spelling mistakes. Starting with cards, two different warpaths. Each warpath is focused on a different playstyle. Two characters of the same class can have a different starting card. Okay. Is that just saying that's what my cards are? I quite like this deck. Um, I mean, I didn't have to use jump, I don't think, at all in that, but I could see it being beneficial. This is your sanity, which needs a H. You lose as you explore the world. Once it reaches zero, it doesn't kill you, but it will start. To, you will start to lose hit points. There are three different states of sanity. These states affect exploration and combat the less sanity you have the harder it is to survive this world so this is our sanity here i guess is that what this is pointing at Antendi lucid so this is the whole thing right so lucid there paranoid hysterical now Based on last time, are you the champion? Is that what this is telling me? Yes, okay, so the purple health is what the champion's credited as. So that's what we're seeing in this. So, if I was to start here, this guy doesn't have his punch ability. I've got five points here, so what I could do is I could go... Let's do this. If I move forward one, it's two. Jumps three. No, that's that's the thing. I can move two spots. Move forward to there. Hit this guy with close combat. Drops him to eight. I can't win in this shot, but what I can do is I could push this guy. So, assumingly, if this push works, he does look heavy. It wouldn't surprise me if it's the sort of thing that fails. Push him up, so he has to move a square in order to get to me. And then I armor up, because I don't have my um, draw card. So I've got my draw, so firstly we'll push back him. Take a shot, draw one. Got our close combat, so we jump. We move forward one. Take a swing at him. So, I mean, that's the way to go, just aggressive on a um, play. So I feel like I've, I'm set for movement cards. Does that count as a support card? Or is that an attack card? I kind of, I think, damage cards. Can I go back, or is this just basically my thing? Deals damage to adjacent enemies, so that's everyone. Charge to deal damage to all characters in a straight horizontal line, I don't mind that. Deals damage to the first character in horizontal, so it's basically just what we've already got. Kind of like charge. Uh, allows you, would it allows you to stop and rest from time to time? Wandering for too long in these woods will affect your mind if you don't. So I feel like that's going to be handy. Because each square is knocking me down from my um, my lucid feelings. So our champs up top. Not a great deck to be starting with here, I don't feel. Well, let's go a different approach. So it feels so I'd say she's gonna have like 13 health. We've got move and jump both here. So let's put me in there. Close combat her. Draw one. 
charge to hurt both of them. That's throwing me into a weird spot though. Uh, let's go jump. Move away. Charges a nice get here. Got to thump the two of them. Close combat. Our mate. Push him back. I, I mean, I still don't quite get the value of, of tongues versus anything else here. But I don't have any. Now, I mean, I had one, I suppose. Now I've got three. Can I cut through this way? Oh, it's up here. What was the circle? Circle something valuable. Okay. Deal a total of 20 damage. Points to win. Okay. Well, in that case, since we've got charge, we will want to start up top. Charge. Uh, we'll draw. I don't know what that thing is, but it's only got one health. So I don't want it here. That feels like a good move to sort of jump out of the way. And let's get some shield going. Eight. So I can... Pump him something good, we'll draw. Jump to there, and then charge th that way. Uh, but that's put me in a awkward spot now. Is that, that, whatever that was, it made me win, so <laughs> I'll take that. Um, let's see what we get in support. Gain armor points, armor last one turn. Gain armor points, armor last one turn. Okay, power, apply it to yourself. Returns damage equal to your current armor when you receive a direct hit. Not bad. Power, apply it to yourself. One damage to all your direct attacks. Only one. I tell you, the crow sounds in this game are so realistic. I keep thinking there's a crow outside, and then I'm like, wait, crows don't do that at <laughs> this time of night. All right, let's go for coal. And let's find... Your sanity has dropped too low, and your status has changed to paranoid. You can be ambushed, and the minimap will give you less information. If your sanity drops further, your stamina may be reduced to recover sanity. You can use the rest button, two would required. To recover hit points, you can use the drink button. Okay, so let's use the rest to recover our Sandy. Health points, I think we're fine for now. Alright. That's our definition of something valuable. Or was that a pile of tongues? Cheeky bit of lumber. Oh, we've run into a sudden run of um, things to collect here. What's that next picture? Is that something weird? Something mysterious. That's what this that thing was I went through before. Uh, choose one upgrade to customize a card. That's damage to this card. This upgrade gains 2 plus to each time you draw a card this turn. That's not bad. Like to yourself. So I can add these to any particular card. So does that mean if I put the draw one card on another card, I also get a card as well as that move? I think damage to this card. And I want to put it on the charge. Really get that charge hitting something fierce. Draw two copies of this card and remove them from your deck at the end of this turn. And two armor. I 
I, I kind of like two armor on close combat because assumingly when I'm doing close combat, I'm going to be close. Or should I put it on the armor so my armor's... Maybe I'll put it on the armor so that my armor move is actually a much more valuable move to be playing. So if we start ourselves here, we throw strength on, then we charge. She didn't really take the damage I was expecting there. Roll one. Close combat. Um, I can jump out of here, but let's armor up. That gives me health. Really, wood is the one that I, I think I currently need. We I just did a lot of runs of... Um, of sort of just collection squares so it feels like i've i've really short changed in like I've, I've gone pretty insane pretty quick here destroy eight armor of the target upgrade gains two damage each time you draw draw one card this upgrade gains plus one damage per every two points character's current armor i don't see value in that this one i feel would be good on say the strength card i think I don't think it'd be value in, in drawing two cards. I think if I make my sort of support cards give me a variety of things, like not only will I get a card, but I'm also going to get strength in that play. It seems good. Okay, so the main bad guy is just this way. So I reckon that our goal is that we swing out here. All right, well, that was nice. And since we've just had that beef back up, let's go up and... See this one again. Draw one card. Um, I mean, if I've only got available four spots, it, it seems like a bit of a waste to put it on any of these. Maybe we'll go armor. All right, let's... Um, I want to see if I get back on the train. So let's do this battle and then see what happens. The hefty looking lad in the middle there. So just defeat. Just uh beat them all. So start here. Let's go armor. To up my armor and then give me the extra card. Then charge through those two. A hundred. Alright. So Get it started. Draw one. Can't really push back. I'd love to more knock her out of the way just to have it done. So we're down to just a one on one. But I guess pushing. It's a different person, right? So there's two of them left. But I guess doing something to that guy is a probably a good start. Did that guy show up again? Was he there? Was he dead previously? Okay, so firstly we'll use strength card. We will charge. We will push back. Guess we've got to draw. Too far away. We're going to be replicate this card at the beginning of each turn. It would have been nice to just at least give a whack on that guy, but what we're possibly learning here is the value in why you would sort of continue to search the entire thing and not sort of jump in early to a to a fight, I suppose. All right, let's charge armor. Hit draw useless. I mean, all of it's pretty useless. But I can jump, like, further away from everyone. So let's do that. I do not have much in the way of health left, though. Uh... 
Possibly my downfall as well is that I've not been killing these guys as much as I should have. Alright, let's go strength because we get the plus one card anyway. Kill that guy. But I really need to get that guy dead. Let's... I mean, I'm dead either way, I think. But good to see a gauge of, like, what I'm expecting in this final fight. A hundred... I definitely am not prepared for. Well, they didn't swing at me. Firstly, let's armor up. Strength up. In with that. with that and then let's jump to I mean nowhere's really that safe I guess there yeah every time they get killed they sort of just reappear anyway okay jump step one we jump step two we strength. Step three, we close combat. Step four, we charge. Ugh. Step five, we move away. Oh, might just get this out. Okay, so. Step one, we jump. Step two, we hit. Oof. All right. Did I feel lacking in anything there? Pulls an enemy to an adjacent square and deals damage to it. Deals damage to adjacent enemies. Five damage all around seems pretty good. Let's um, let's play with that. Uh, let's go for the drinks, just so that we can uh, get some health going. This character returns victorious to the train, where he will rest from this nightmare, at least for a while. We've defeated this boss at standard difficulty, and have unlocked the next level. Total damage done. Highest damage attack. Highest total damage in a single turn. Total damage received during the expedition. Most used cards based on a percentage. How many times I use them, I guess, is the, the bracketed part. On returning to the Rosalind, my companion told me that I have only been away for a few hours, but for me it felt like days. The theories about the Labyrinth were true. This is your train crew, your men... Um, this is your train crew, your men. Your crew can perform tasks on the train. When performing tasks or going on an expedition, they will spend their energy. When their energy reaches zero, they will enter a tired state and will not be able to perform any more until they rest. Okay. This is just looking at the different things of the train. I've got old mate here, engineering cabin. This is your engineering cabin from which... It's H, you can expand your train. You need to build the void portal to get new recruits. For this task, drag your engineer to the red box and make sure he has energy. All right, so we drag him to the red box. Each time a task is performed on a train, a random roll is made to see the result. You can see the percentage of the result. The percentage of success depends on the character's level and class. In this case, the engineer has a better chance of doing better than the rest. Him being the rest, I guess, because... So, I then click on this, and because I've, I've got the stuff required, the task has been successfully completed. Good job, engineer. Okay. So, that's done. We go back. We've now got the void portal. Alright, I was trying to work out why I was telling me to drag my engineer back, but it's not that. It's these guys. Okay, so... 
Oh, cool. If I click on it, I might get information. Okay, so this guy's sort of got like a confused magic damage, random blast. This guy's got like... He's got a lot of support abilities. Smash. I mean, I, I do like the basicness of my other guy, but... Who's going to be the most different? I suppose it's going to be him. I can have both, can I? I don't feel like I need all of them, right? I don't need to be greedy. So is that saying that I've... Is that the one that I already finished? Or is this now like the... Is that the new one? Right, okay. So this must be the one I've already done because I've now unlocked it to level 2. That's a new one which I'd need to finish on level 1 to get to level 2. Um, so he needs to rest because he's just come back. So we would need to send someone else to the, uh, to the void. He's, I guess he just sort of dresses up like the other guys until he gets to, to battling. Doctor. All right, well, I'll leave it there. There's probably not enough time for to go for another run. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, it's it'll be interesting to see where the I guess both what happens on the train and how that evolves, as well as um, leveling characters and the, the how much harder this gets. And I, I guess potentially if you actually get to take more than one guy at a time at any point, that would make for an interesting fight. Although you do get pretty overpowered pretty quick, at least in that first part. So um, I can't imagine they're going to give you the luxury of more than one. But it's a good looking game. A few little spelling letters to pick up, and it's uh, it's definitely ready for for early access. Any uh, questions or comments, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.